everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hasselton. This is going to be part two of the coupon book full tutorial. So if you haven't checked out the first part, I highly recommend doing that. You can find it right here on my channel. So on my channel, I like to talk about how to make money online. So if that's interesting to you, then I highly recommend subscribing. So let's get right into the video. So where we left off last time is that we found a keyword or a niche to get into, and this is going to be reward coupons for kids, coupon books for kids, something along those lines. So I decided to make it even a little bit smaller of a sub niche and go with happy birthday coupon books. Now this didn't have the best um, like niche scores, but that's okay. I think that we can definitely be unique here and this tutorial is really just supposed to help you create your own book, so I really hope this is helpful. So first we're going to do the interior. This video will be covering how to do the interior and the cover, how to design and create them. So we can look at other books to gather ideas and inspiration. So I have three selected here that are selling pretty well, and I'm just looking at their dimensions and their print length and what they are. So these are blank gift vouchers, there's 31, there's 62 pages, 8.25 by 6. And this next one, same size, 8.25 by 6 inches, of almost the same length, 30 blank vouchers. This one has 40 pages, 40 fillable do-it-yourself vouchers, and same dimension. So I think we're definitely going to go with the 8.25 by 6, and you can also like look at the designs here and gather some sort of inspiration from them. So this one, by looking at the back, it shows what their coupons look like, and there's just two on a page. They have the lines for people to follow along to cut with scissors, and then they just have very, very simple coupons, redeem coupon for, and some lines. So that one is very, very simple. It's not a happy birthday book. But honestly, I think that's mostly the cover. We can definitely make the inside more birthday related as well. But let's just look at one of these. I think these other two are pretty similar. So I'm only going to show you one of them. But this is just going to help us gather some ideas, figure out how we can be different. And this is working for them. So if it's working for them, then obviously it's working. It could work for us. Just gonna give it a minute to load. Of course, my computer decides to be slow right now. But this is a great way to figure out where you wanna start with your book by looking at competitors who are already making sales. Now, I don't recommend copying other people, stealing each other's work, things like that. Don't do that. But you can definitely get inspired and motivated. So looking at this, they have a lot bigger ones and they take up pretty much the entire page, I think. It hasn't completely loaded on the bigger screen, but you can see on the smaller screen. And it has more detail than the other one does. So I think that we can combine these two ideas. I honestly think I'm going to go with the one that has two on a page. I think that's better than having one big page. I mean, that's this is an 8 by 6 or 8.25 by 6. So that's a pretty big coupon. So I think 2 by page is fine. Um, and this coupon, it looks like, has a front and back where the other one did not. So something else to keep in mind. So we're going to X out of those because I already decided what size we're going to be doing. So now you just want to head on over to Canva. I'm going to show you how to do this with the pro version and with the free version. Um, totally up to you. You can actually do the pro version that I'm going to be showing you with the free version. I know that kind of sounds confusing, but I'll explain it. So first, let's start with our interior. So you can search on Canva. Um, you can search like reward coupon, coupon book, things like that. And after you search, it will open up a new tab. I already loaded it to try to save us some time. And you can use these templates, which are really, really great and just scroll down, sort through them, um, and you can get a basic template for yourself. So I highly recommend doing this in case you don't want to start from scratch, but you definitely can start from scratch. But this is really something that's helpful. And the reason I think this is more for pro is because a lot of these have the crown, you can see here, for pro, and they'll also be not the right size, most likely. So then you'll have to resize them. And there is a way to get around the resizing if you don't have the pro version. And I've shown that in another YouTube video. I'm not going to show it here. But basically what you do is you create a brand new 
template or brand new design, and then you simply copy and paste over. But I'll link the video up here where I show that, so you can go ahead and watch that in case you're interested in that route and you don't have the pro version. So I just selected this one from the page, and I don't want to do a back, so I'm going to delete the back part, and I don't want to have one on a whole page. So let's see here. I think I'm just going to shrink it, and we'll start there, just see how that looks. I'm going to move it on over, highlight everything because it's not grouped together, and I'm going to delete this here and delete the writing. I don't think we need that. We can add our own. And instead of get gift voucher, I want this to say coupon. I'm going to make it longer and shrink it. You could do coupon voucher just for you. I'm happy with that. And on the right hand side, I think I want to do something about birthdays. So let's just type in birthday, see what comes up. Just some sort of cute graphic, something happy. This is going to be for kids, so I want to make it a bit more colorful. Or we can do something like that. And honestly, I actually really like this. I definitely want to make this more kid-friendly. I'm not going to go through the entire design in this video because this will be a very long video. But I want to show you guys how to create your own. And then in the next video uploading, you can see the final design that I actually plan on creating. So I just duplicated this for the next page. Um, you could definitely add dotted lines because if you want to add those for people to like cut out the pages on and just add something like this and go through go through the all of the pages add little scissors if you want to there's plenty of stuff to use in canva i'm not going to go through all of that because i'm also going to be showing you how to do it without using the free templates and i don't want this video to be two hours long so let's move on over to canva and you're going to hit create a design so we're doing an 8.25 by 6. So what you want to do, I also plan on using bleed. So I'm adding 0.125 and 0.25 to account for that. So the size is going to be this 8.375 by 6.25. Now I already opened it up in another window. Again, trying to save some title it, whatever you want to title it. And in order to create a coupon book, you can make it completely from scratch using all the different elements, or you can type in coupon and plenty of stuff comes up. I mean, there's this one right here. This is a pro one, but um, this one right next to it is not a pro one. So I'll go ahead and select that. Let's change the background to something a little bit nicer. Let's just do like a light pink. So I'm going to move on over this color wheel. There, we'll do that. We'll change this to white, make it a bit bigger, and just add some text. I mean, there are so many different things that you can do with Canva, honestly. Be like, happy birthday coupon, happy birthday coupon, something like that. Make it a bit smaller. redeem for just going to add that put it down here and then I can just add like a line or something to write on again I am doing this very very quickly this is not going to be my final results but I just want to show you how you can create your own so you can get started Move that down there we go and I can change the weight of this to lighter so it looks more like actual writing lines I could also add let me do like balloon background let's see if anything comes up for that there's a ton of different things oh my goodness like there's all of these balloons if I wanted to do something like that or these balloons are really cool. I could add these throughout the entire book. There's so many different possibilities, honestly. Just go through all of the different elements, 
figure it out, like, whatever works best for you. I'm just going to lock that one so I can group all of this together, move it down. Now I have these two coupons here, and there's just so many different possibilities. So that is how you can do your interior. And what I plan to do for the interior is I'm going to duplicate this page, but I'm going to delete this because when they cut out a coupon, I don't want there to be another coupon on the back of it. So I'm going to have a blank page after a coupon. It's not going to be completely blank. It's going to have the design on it here, whatever design I choose to be the background. So that way it still looks pretty. There we go. So when it prints, this will be all one page, the front and the back. And it'd be something like that. So that is something definitely to consider in case you want to do a front and a back or if you don't want to that's completely up to you but I recommend doing that because when you cut out a coupon I wouldn't want to have to keep track if the coupon on the back I have or haven't used so now moving on to the cover again we can take inspiration from the other ones that we used we're gonna head on over to the cover calculator I'm plan to print in premium color so I'm gonna do that um, for measurement in units do inches, trim size, we have an 8.25 by 6, so right here, and I plan to do 40 pages, that seemed to be a pretty decent number, so we're going to go with that, scroll up, it looks like these are my dimensions, so I'm going to head back on over to Canva, do create a design, custom size, inches, type in the width, and I'm going to type in the height or copy and paste, whatever works. Have that load there. And it's going to open up another blank page. And things are a little bit different now on Amazon KDP with low content books. They don't have the look inside feature anymore. And I honestly don't even think you really get to see the back of the book either. So it might be good to have the coupon on the front of the book, so that way people can find it. Um, but that's kind of totally up to you how you go about that. This is definitely a lot wider than I normally do for books. I normally don't do this size, so this is a little bit weird for me. But we could do something similar to what we already did in the interior. We could do like a light pink background. And then we could add these balloons because I really love them. To add a text, something like, let's see, um, to be like coupon. Let's do like happy birthday. Happy birthday coupon book. Let's move that up here change effects let's add a background to it we'll add a white background I think that will stick out better this does not look the best right now I also normally add the template but I didn't download it here it takes a little bit to download and upload it so I'm not going to but I have tons of videos on how to do covers and cover templates and the whole purpose of that is just to figure out where your objects are another great way to do that in case you like want to be lazy and don't feel like doing it um, even though I really recommend it but if you're trying to figure out where the middle of your page is you can add something like this and then go to position middle and center and it will put it right in the middle for you so this is the middle of the book right here so honestly, I probably have things mostly in the right area. I'll probably want to move it over because of when it prints, it might get cut or trimmed here. So this is how you're going to do your cover. I recommend on the back adding some examples of your coupon so you can create a like image of this and copy it or you can upload it or whatever. I'm just going to try copying and pasting and that did work. So awesome. So I'm just going to add my design to the back. And voila, this would be done. Obviously, this is not a great design for a cover or a book, but I am simply showing you the tools to use to create your own. I did this very, very quickly. In the next video, I'll be showing you my actual design 
and poop on book and how to upload it. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I hope this gives you an idea on how to create your own, how to figure out the interior size and the cover size. And I hope that this is helpful. I'll definitely link the part one above here in case you need to review that. And again, I just appreciate the support so much. You guys are truly incredible. We are on the road to 1K right now. So very, very excited. If you have any 1K giveaway ideas, please feel free to comment them below. And I appreciate the support so, so much. You guys are incredible. Thank you for watching and listening and have a great day.